We're Bob and Hillary, and for the past two weeks, we've been driving across 10 states. We've driven 3,100 miles, and we finally made it to the halfway point. The best part is, we get to visit lots of family for the next few days. Let the fun times begin. Good morning, everybody. It's freaking cold here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We have some fun activities planned today. I think we're gonna go to uh, outdoor root, root beer stand and have some lunch. And then we're gonna head over to an apple cider farm. But it's so cold right now. I don't think this is gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to go find my coat. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> I'm trying. Oh, look at this! I got oh my too. god! Oh, oh. people are gonna be like, Ugh. Jim, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I can't, I can't hold it steady. Jim, are you doing this on purpose? Yes. <laughs> he said yes. He's making it to where we're going. Don't, don't, don't. Wow. Take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> oh, that was fun. We're at Red's root beer stand. It's freaking cold. It's like 47 degrees. And we're gonna eat outside on the picnic table. How would you rate that and was it worth it? Oh, was it worth it? Okay, what did I have? I had a Coney Chili Cheese Dog, which was amazing, thumbs up. And it was worth it. It just was a tad windy and cold. Yeah. But other than that, it was great. So would we recommend people to come to the Root Bear Stand in Paw Paw, Michigan in 46 degree weather? Oh, the last part, I, have, I gotta think about that one. But yes, I would definitely recommend coming to Red's Root Beer Stand in Paw Paw, Michigan. So not only did we think eating outside at a root beer stand was gonna be a good idea in 46 degree weather, now we're headed over to an apple cider mill place. And I think we're gonna do maybe a hayride and different things like that. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about the weather though, because we are freezing. A little more than the Michigan people though. They're not, it's not as bad for them, but we're dying over there. We're here, it's cold, but that's okay. We're gonna stop complaining about the cold right now and we're gonna have some fun. butter. I think Here's we need it. this in the van. Apple cherry butter. I think we need to take this home with us. Hi. Oh god. <laughs> You're like, oh god. Change of plans. No hay ride for us because they don't do hay rides for just anyone during the week, only for school kids. So no hay ride, but we're gonna take advantage of donuts and apple cider. Literally as fresh as it comes, they just this or whatever you're they're doing to the apples. Oh my gosh, it's like drinking an apple. <laughs> like fertilizer like you said they compost the take a apples. bite Wow. 
Wow. What happened, Natalie? It just started hailing and then it stopped. I know, I couldn't even get 45 out of here. 45 seconds. Wow. Winter's coming. So we got the goods. We got donuts. This is my vanilla sprinkle. And I got pumpkin sprinkle. Oh, that is good. Mm. Winter is coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. It is definitely hailing. It looks like it's hail. It's hail. Okay. Oh. What's our issue, Bob? goodness we ran out of propane it's 3 50 in the morning we're in minnesota i know we're in michigan and it's 59 degrees in here right now and it's 38 degrees outside and we're freezing oh my gosh i knew it i just i, I kept getting colder and colder and colder and i was like did we run out of propane Mm -hmm. Did we get a warning this was going to happen last night? Yes. Should we have filled our propane last night? Yes. But now we know. Now we know. When it says empty, it means it's empty. Yeah. We learned the lesson the hard way. <laughs> the cold way. The cold way. Now we're going to just lay here. Bob went and turned the van on so that the heater's on. Sometimes I tell you. Bob's sitting up front because he's cold and he has the van on and it's almost five in the morning. So that's, that's the update. And we did cover our windows and that is helping keep the heat in. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna head inside to use the bathroom mm -hmm. and brave the cold. It is 36 degrees outside, so it's a little chilly. <laughs> and the van is still? It's still pretty chilly in here. We've been running the engine. It is 66. Which is nice because when we woke up, it was 57. Yeah, 66 in here. It, what I have found very surprising is that the cab heater heats up the entire van very quickly and it's actually gets uncomfortably hot up there even at this temperature so it but the problem is we have to keep turning the engine on and off and on and off on and off because the temperature does go down quick mm -hmm. and i'm not bitter or anything but who who asked who to go get propane last night i asked you no i asked you i know you did i was like we should because you were the, like, we should go. And I was like, no, it'll be fine. But here, in my defense. No defense. The propane <laughs> meter was like this big and it says empty on the screen. True, but I thought that it was another false alarm. I'm not going to lie. I was like, hey, if it's empty, why is the heater kicking on? Well, it was low enough to tell us that, hey, you should go fill it. But I didn't realize that it meant it was, well, it stopped working because it was empty. So yeah we ran it like bone dry you you win some you lose some and i lost that one 
Okay. Go brave the cold. Go go in your sister's house to use her potty. All right. Is okay. it cold? It is very cold. I'm staying in here where it's nice and warm. Bloody. Oh. What happened? Now, now I'm in trouble. Why? Because I waited until I had to really use the bathroom and it's locked. <gasps> she said the door was open. And Gabe must have locked it. Good news. We do have a garage code, so we ran back in. Because we try not use the van bathroom unless we absolutely have to. If you know what I mean. So cold. You freezing? I am absolutely freezing. What degrees do you think it is? 48 degrees. 48 degrees. Oh. So we're off to get some propane and then we're gonna drive an hour and a half to Hudson, Michigan to go see his grandma and grandpa. You unplug the van, you filled up the water. Yep. Is everything off the counter? I think we're good. Actually. The sunroof is good to go now. Oh yeah, sunroof. All the windows are closed. The doors are closed. You know, it's a process. It is. It is. Uh, there are, is a huge checklist you have to run through every time you leave. Yep. And uh, we never forget anything. No, no, no. That doesn't never, happen. Never. Stuff never falls off our counter. And just chill. What was that? Was that, that the was, counter? That's the countertop. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, not only do we not forget things, we never drive down the road and our sunroof flies up. Did we leave? <laughs> Oopsie. Because technically our sunroof is broken and it has to be zip tied. So sometimes we, sometimes we forget to zip tie it. Yeah, that might have been me. <laughs> just right, once, just once. Yeah, right before. Mackinac Bridge. Yeah, that's true. We had to stop for gas. So we got it taken care of eventually, but yeah, we didn't go over the bridge with it open though. Why? You can't be in. Oh, to yeah. do this? Yep. The pilots have to be turned off and everybody has to be out of the vehicle. It's just a safety thing. Gotcha. Oh. I guess I have to be out of the vehicle to get propane. Makes sense to me. How much was it? 26.65. For six gallons? Six gallons of propane. Thing worked great and now you, we can stay warm tonight and you think it's full i think it's full it, it hit the overflow yes, yes. We in... okay we're following you guys jim hang on i said give me a second <laughs> she's out of here jim don't leave us. We're good. You need to put your seatbelt on. We're good. We got to catch up. Let's go. <laughs> This is a place that I used to come as a kid and I just have tons of great memories of coming here and playing in the farm fields and eating the uh, raspberries and just I just have tons and tons of great memories of, of being here as a kid. And I'm really glad to be back and spend some time with my grandparents.
Yeah. We watch you all the time on YouTube. He watches. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I yeah. said, don't you yeah. put anything, comment on it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, you guys are going to be on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really something. Oh. Gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah. I dream of like seeing you guys again, and then oh, I think, yeah. well, oh, we probably won't. You no. Know, you get older and older. Yeah. yeah. It's so I good know. to see you, though. We're here. Oh, you get quite a van there. Yes. yes. There's the yes. van. <laughs> How are you? I had a, a class C. I'm going to get hat. Yeah. You yeah, catch <laughs> was I, I had it all filled in here. Yeah. That's why I parked oh the motor home when I first did it, put the rear Oh, and there's your bed. Yeah. Was that a queen or a like, king? It's a king size bed. It's a king yeah. size bed. This is for Bob Cook. <laughs> yup. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's gosh. nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then these seats actually turn around so you can. Oh, turn around. Oh. You can make oh, it. Oh, use them for. Oh, uh, oh that's yeah. nice. Like this way. So then. So you could have for a seat. Yeah. yeah. And then you have the little table back there, so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah, even bigger than I realized. Tried. Nowadays, everything's computer. I watch it. Oh, it's built on that. Okay. You're cold, Bob? A little bit. <laughs> it's okay. A little chilly? Yeah, we'll go in. <laughs> you might need well, we're, we're not used to the You're cold. Well, <laughs> I, I can't take it. I These are uh, red houses. Oh my gosh, I love them. If you want one, take one. Okay. I do. Yeah. We put it in our backyard. Which one? Take whatever you want. What so, do you think so for this, our house? This might be easiest to hang okay. right right on our porch. Yeah. Okay. Take, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. We need to have him sign it. Yes. If he made it, we need him to sign yeah. it. Do you have a like a marker that you can sign? Yeah. He gave us a birdhouse. Bob, he signed it. Oh, thank you. Thank you.